All right, now last time when I did the, uh, the video about uh, old signal flow, the original signal flow in the uh, mighty mid Merlosh organ here, see I'm sitting at the console, the rest of the auditorium they turned the lights back off, so it's the only place to get light. Um, people said, that's great, it's really interesting. What about the new signal flow with the uh, solid state electronics? And that's what I'm going to show you uh, today. And we're also going to take a look at the new combination action. So uh, we're going to go in back of the console here and uh, take a look. And we're going to go downstairs to where the uh, combination action is, is connected. But you'll see more about that later. So let's uh, turn the camera around here, of course. Everybody recognizes the mighty 7 manual console. And I'm going to turn this light on because it's kind of dark back there. I'll show this uh, here before we go back there. This is the original blower um, blower motor control panel. And if you look at this tag, it says, Do not use this blower. Repairs in progress, R.C. Evans. Of course, R.C. Evans would have been Roscoe Evans, the original curator of the organ. So that uh, little card there must date from the 1930s or 40s. Oh, oh somebody's testing something. Hmm, that's interesting. I did not plan that. I don't know what they're testing back there. But anyway, back here, you remember that we saw the um, the key contacts, right? Okay, so that's the old system. Uh, I was on the opposite end of the console in the last video. But now, as opposed to all those individual contacts, if you look, let me get the light up here. There you can see a circuit board uh, beneath the uh, keyboard. You see that? That is a bar that has Hall effect sensors in it, and there are magnets installed in the uh, inside the keys themselves. And when you press down the uh, key, the magnet comes very close to the Hall effect sensor and uh, triggers the solid state system. Let me see if I can get a shot of the next keyboard down here. You can see it's back there. That. So all seven keyboards have had the uh, uh, those boards put on. So this is where the signal starts now. You press a key and a magnet comes within proximity of that Hall effect sensor and sends a signal to the um, uh, the solid state. Now remember that the magnet does not actually touch the Hall effect sensor, so there's no physical contact there. Unlike the old system which had lots of physical contacts. So from here, the cables uh, go down. Whoop, turn the light off. All right, so you remember the uh, great uh, blower's video, and here we are in the great blower room, right? There's the tremolo units. And this is pretty astonishing. There, right there, the entire organ goes through that cable right there. And there's actually a couple of extra cables that they ran just for preparation for later on, and they, they've had to change stuff around a little bit. But basically, underneath it all, all thousand some stops, seven manuals of organ, everything goes through that. Right there, that's it. Compare that to the gargantuan wads of cable you see up in the uh, uh, the organ shop that they've taken as samples and things, and you realize exactly how far technology has come through uh, multiplex technology. So anyway, we come from the console down here, and uh, the cables disappear up into the ceiling there, and there's various shafts and things that they use to get the cable from from uh, the console down here. And there's also some wiring for the console up there in that area, if you remember from that video, where the junctions are. You can see them, let me zoom in there. Well, the autofocus auto isn't working because it's trying to focus on something else, but if you remember, there's all sorts of wiring up there. So, from the console down here, and then it sort of splits up into the left and right sides. So we're going to go over to the left and then the right. 
So if we take the left branch of the solid state, we come into the swell chamber here, and of course there's nice new power supplies and everything. And there is the panel for basically the swell. It's not that everything is you know super clear cut. Some divisions kind of cross over a little bit, but that's the solid state for the um, swell. And then down here through this door is the swell choir. And you notice that it's a really big panel because um, the swell choir is all unit action. It's all unit stops. So there's a lot more individual magnets as opposed to uh, straight stops with primaries. Look at that nice neat grounding. Nice work. And you'll notice that there are little green indicator lights, which are status indicators for the various notes. If they're off, they're green, and when you play them, they turn red, which is very handy for diagnosis. So you have that panel, you have that panel, and then through this chamber into the pedal, there are the 64s right in front of me, you have this panel, which is mostly pedal and unenclosed choir and string one, I believe. For that panel and then there's a smaller panel on the uh, second or third level which does a little bit of uh, does the grand grate but i'm not going to climb up there because it's it's pretty obvious what everything does so this is the left branch the right branch is different over on the great side all right now if we take the right branch of the solid state we come up here into the great chamber right main chamber the chain the uh data cable comes up through a passage in the floor near the 64s at the opposite end of the chamber. I'm in the far right side of the right chamber near the organ uh, shop. And if you remember from the video about signal flow, this is the room that has the uh, keying room in back and all the masses of switches in here. <clears throat> this side of the organ, get my lamp here, has been partially solid stated. Up there is part of the Opus 2 system and this is driving the great keyboards and I don't remember I think it's just great solo maybe I don't remember. Um, anyway it is acting as a relay between the console and the keying room which is back there and so uh, this way they can have key signals be recorded for MIDI, but until the chambers are actually rewired, the old keying room, which is here, is still in operation. So you play a note at the console and it fires the solid state I just showed you, and which then in turn plays a note here. So this is still in operation. This is still being used on the right main chamber. Okay. And so that's, uh, that's basically it. I mean, that's, that's the signal flow for now. Uh, it's going to be upgraded over time. Eventually the entire right, right main chamber will have the uh, solid state installed so that it can be controlled with an iPad as well. Uh, you can't do that yet, but it's coming soon. So anyway, uh, thought you'd find that interesting. So we'll, uh, Sign out from here. Before we go back upstairs to look at the uh, left and right sides, I thought we'd come there. That was the uh, great board room where I just left. Now, a lot of people are curious about the new combination action, and that is in mostly this room. And this is one of the most amazing things, I think, of the whole restoration project so far. I mean, when you see what was accomplished here, it's, it's truly, truly amazing. So, there is the panel driving all of the on and off magnets up to the console. And remember that we're on the sub-sub-basement level here with the blowers. So this has to go up three stories uh, to connect everything. And you see there's a blower pipe there. And actually that connects across the hall to another room which has just as much equipment in it. It looks just the same, so I'm, I'm just going to do this one, show this one. But anyway, 
Just think about this, all of this was underwater. All of this was ruined in the 1940s, completely. It never worked right to begin with, and it was completely wiped out in, I believe, 1944. And yet, despite that, it still serves an essential purpose to this day to have the combination action work, and I'll show you why. So if you look into the trays here, I mean, just look at it. It's, it, it's a scene of devastation. That's all the original mechanism. Of course, this was all pressurized at one point. There was a glass case on this. And everything is just completely ruined and all that. But all of the original connections are still here, and they were all still labeled. And so it was possible to hook on to the original junctions for the on coils, off coils, and stop switches all the way down here. Just look at that. And consider this. All of this wiring that came from here is still being used to go from here up and everything gathers up and then it goes through. You see those cables there? I think that's what those are. I don't remember where they go. Sorry for the bad camera work here. Anyway, the original wire that was underwater in 1944 is still carrying the electricity to the magnets upstairs. Because even though it was cotton covered, it was enameled. And the salt water did not eat through the enamel. So all of that, those thousands and thousands and thousands of feet of wiring that the Midmerlosh people did in 1929 is still in use today. And that's how this was able to be accomplished, is that that wiring was still, still operable. And those are original markings on there. So it is interesting to contemplate that the technology of the time simply was not able to keep up with the demands put on it. And then when it was flooded, it was all over. But now, because technology has caught up, not only can you have combination action, you can have multiple levels and all sorts of great things with MIDI. So that is the view from the, I'll say basically main uh, combination action room. And remember that none, none of this material does anything, of course, there, there's no, no, nothing moves. I mean, everything's been taken out. But I thought I would show this is kind of interesting. That's how they communicated back in the day. It says telephone organ MA28. So if somebody wanted to communicate with the console, they plugged their headset in there and talk to the people up on the stage. The logistics involved in building this organ are simply not to be believed. I mean, it's really, you know, it's worse than building the Great Pyramids or something. A lot more complicated anyway. So, anyway, there we have it. That is the core of the new combination action right there. That's, that's basically what drives the whole thing.